Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandon and it's time for another furniture flip. So if you see me pointing my finger right at the hardware, it's basically me saying I'm gonna move the hardware over. So I don't know why the hardware was positioned this awkwardly in the middle. I didn't really like where it was positioned, so I decided to move it over by an inch. So what I mean by move it over by an inch, so you see where the hardware holes are? There's two hardware holes. So I would fill the ones that was in the inner left and inner right, and I would add one to the left or the right, if that makes sense. So here I am using a ruler and I'm adding one inch to the left or one inch to the right because the hardware is one inch from hole to hole. So after I mark every single dot, I'm going to come back with a drill as you can see right here and I'm gonna use the drill bit that's the same size as the hardware holes in the back of the hardware and it creates the new holes and I'm gonna come back and fill those holes with a bondo So now that the piece is looking much better with the hardware more spaced out, it's time to go back and fill those holes. Yes, I accidentally spilt that little canister or little tube, um, but just ignore that. So I'm using Bondo. It's actually made for cards, but I find it really helpful and really strong and sturdy compared to a wood filler. Um, sometimes I use spackle. Well, the majority of the time I use spackle because um, it's cheap and affordable and it works well, but I wanted something more heavy duty since um, it is for hardware holes so typically for hardware holes I use Bondo um, not a wood filler but you can definitely use a wood filler it's just my preference and it's cheaper um, so I just took I don't know exactly what it is uh, it's gray stuff and then you have this tube that's filled with red stuff and you mix the red stuff with the gray stuff and then it it, it, it does this so <laughs> it basically is a big gloopy paste thing and I know I'm I'm really trying to explain this but it's just weird so it's a paste and I'm now filling in all those holes that I don't want there and yeah when it's dry I'm gonna come back and sand it with 220 grit sandpaper which you'll see very soon and um, if you're laughing I'm very sorry but I'm trying to explain this as best as possible but let's just say it's a paste um, and it's a filler and um, it hardens really quickly and yeah I just want to mention something really quickly. So, as you see in a lot of my videos, I tend to sand down the tops. And why do I do this? One, because it's pretty. And two, I'm taking full advantage of the summer weather because in the winter here in Canada, there's like blizzards and everything like that. No, we do not live in igloos. And no, we do not eat pancakes and maple syrup all the time. Um, yes, the enthusiastic side is coming out of me right now, but anyways, so I love sanding down the tops of furniture, especially in the summer. Um, it just adds a little extra something, and even though I work in a warehouse during the winter, I don't really like sanding down the tops in the warehouse because it gets very dusty, and, um, it's just not very good for for let's just say the environment inside of uh, the warehouse. So I love doing it in the summer and I do it whenever possible, especially only if it fits in with the piece. Uh, if it's a bold color, then I don't because I don't want to take away from the boldness of the piece. And usually with bold pieces, I go with a transfer, but we will see that later in another video. So I've been trying to force myself to better explain myself in the videos because sometimes I just leave you all uh, to enjoy the video but it doesn't really show you what I'm doing. So here I am washing, well cleaning the entire piece with crud cutter. Um, a lot of people uh, use Dawn dish soap with water, um, some people just use water, some people use bleach. Um, some people use White Lightning by Dixie Bell, um, but I'm just using what's readily available to me at Home Depot and um, I just find it works the best and it's my preference.
I didn't show you this on camera, but I taped off the top and I primed it using Kills Primer in the red spray can. It's the only spray can that works for me. Um, I know a lot of people use Binge Lack based primer in a can, but that can also be a bit expensive. So shockingly, the least expensive primer is the best kind of primer in my opinion. And I am spraying this entire piece. Um, with the Country Chic Paint Driftwood. I am using my Wagner Flexio 3000 sprayer. A lot of you ask if I'm gonna make a video all about my sprayer and comparing it to another sprayer. And yes, I am. Eventually I'm gonna take this sprayer and compare it to the Home Right sprayer, like the quality, I'm gonna compare it, the price and everything like that. So um, right now I'm telling you that um, even though the Wagner Flexio 3000 is a bit pricey it's definitely worth the investment uh, but if you're just starting out I do suggest the home right sprayer because it's a bit more affordable Now it's time for a top coat. So I'm using Country Chic Paint Clear Coat in today's video, but I also use Verithene Diamond Wood Finish and a Satin Sheen in my other videos. So when do I decide when I want to use one and when do I decide when I want to use the other? So if you look up at the sky, the sun isn't really peeking out and it was a relatively cool day here in Canada. It was 18 degrees that day. Um, so the piece itself didn't get very hot. So I find when I'm spraying Country Chic Paint, and the piece itself gets left outside for a relatively long time that it gets really hot. Um, so the piece itself gets really hot, like it's almost burning, um, not literally burning, but it's like it gets very hot. So I find when I'm spraying Country Chic that when I put it on, it bubbles. So it almost like boils the clear coat, you know? But when I spray the very thing diamond wood finish, it doesn't. So that's when I decide if I wanna use the Country Chic one and that's when I decide if I wanna use the very thing one. So the majority of the time I use the very thing one, but in today's video I'm using the clear coat and they both work equally as good. It's just the fact that I have to use one or the other. Okay. 